I was talking about sleep, what was I saying this time? Oh, hold, hold a shite, something about Trump and golden showers or something like that. I, you know, I always predict the futures with my, with my, my dreams. Do you? Know, you? Aye. I'll maybe check it out on it and see if there's anything happening with Donald Trump today. Uh, anyway. Oh, um, so we're here today. Pillow Talk with Caldo. And Disco Dave. So this week on Pillow Talk we have... Tosh Tragical Horror. How you doing Tosh, you alright? I'm good after that, it was a, a magic sleep. Nice oh, nice how you doing man, you okay? Thanks for joining us. Happy that. New Year. Happy New Year and all that. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. Eh? Yep. yep, that was brilliant. What did you get up to during the festive period? Wayne stuff, that's all I get to do now. Building, yeah. building things and making sure Santa was on time. Where do you live? I'm from Adrossing, now I live in Colwynn. Right. Who are your Waynes? Who am I? <laughs> Eh, uh, Ro- Robert and Aaron, and I'm married to Kirsten. Nice one. It's magic. Brilliant. Bit of Lego in that. that. It's a death trap. Plenty of Lego. Bit of Lego. It's a you death stood trap. stood in a bit of Lego. I stood on a, uh, what do you call them? See the, the Mario chess set, the wee Cooper Trooper guys? Oh. And it snapped, and I, I have never screamed for that in my life. <laughs> Cooper strings I case. Honest to God, <laughs> Kirsten thought child, childbirth was bad, man. Terrible. It's up there with standing on a plug. <laughs> Signal. Uh, or, or, oh, um, nice. Jobby, standing in Jobby, that's Ath- bad. Athletes fit. It's not spiky, but it's still still a kick in the teeth, isn't it? Alright, what? Eh, uh, well, I'm a wee bit first, do you want to get a tease on, Colin? I'll get a tease on. All the best, the thank best. you. Cheers, cheers. Any biscuits? Got some Star Wars biscuits in there I can get for later. Star Wars biscuits? Aye. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll get that with the, the next we'll get light in. on the dark side. Brilliant. Chocolate and something that's no chocolate. <laughs> White chocolate. So Tosh, you've been involved in music for a long time. I certainly have, man. Tell us about it. It's been terrible. Every <laughs> minute. It's just a pointless, pointless exercise. I met you when I was 14. You did? Did I met you then At the well. same time. Went to different schools together? Yeah, certainly did. Uh, played guitar since then and just, I don't know, it's, it was, it's a long, what, what, 16 Dutch, years. What made you pick up the guitar? Who inspired you to pick up the guitar? Kurt Cobain. Good choice. Kurt Cobain, oh, man. Uh, I wasn't actually at this uh, thing that happened, but remember when you tried to impress the girl in Ocean's Eleven? To be Kurt Cobain. Mind that time I got to show this to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean that time I was able to do that? Well, that's out the window now, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I remember it. I remember it very well. Um, I smashed it off the ground, tried to get cool, put a big dent underneath the pool table. Was never allowed to back. Uh, hung it's about. No, it's no cool to do that. Respect your instrument. Some folk can't get them. Hung Definitely. about. Uh, hung about where for a while. Um, your maracas and tambourine triangle. Respect them all. Missed the bus. Had to phone my wife to come and pick me up. <laughs> Don't get any more rock and roll that day. So uh, a good first date then. Aye. Aye. <laughs> did, you, did you get a number? I get the number eleven and then must number eleven. <laughs> <laughs> well you never got any number. No, was that mate? So what was your first band's name? My first band had about forty names. It was a bit kinda of, uh, the high school bands. Aye, would you call that what's that back? They always change a bit like peep show. Like uh, uh, what would you call them? Oh god, what the hair blair bunch and all that kind of right. stuff like Margaret yeah. Thatcher's goatee. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, euthanasia, empathy, cry, I just went on and on and on. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, well hung for one night. <laughs> uh, Bobby Tango. Bobby Tango. <laughs> uh, Corn Hunter on the foreskins. Um, <laughs> I've, I've always liked HIV in the positives. But, uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to be called uh, the Freudian clits, but nobody wants to be an abandoned. <laughs> 
a bit of a fanny call. <laughs> Yeah, fucking... <laughs> Aye, so music's great and everybody should do it. Definitely, wholeheartedly whole agree. I'll, I'll, oh, there we go. More than that. that. So, biscuits calling Star Wars biscuits. We'll get them. We'll get them. We'll get them. If, if look, when the next cut happens, we'll get me. We'll get biscuits. I've spilled tea on your bed. That's all right. Sorry. I spilled worse. <laughs> <laughs> she went uh, twenty. <laughs> 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 so the first album above the below. Yep. Absolutely love it. Thanks, man. I'm glad somebody does. Can you and my mum. It's me and my sister. Like my sister. Uh, it's only because she sung on it. <laughs> she's got sister by, sang on it. Yeah, by, that's by proxy. She's got it like that. Yeah. Uh, the new album. Yeah. Uh, the like it was going to be good. The new album was going to be good, and it was going to feature myself. This is another one of these stories that you from, probably should. I knew I knew for Crash Club, <laughs> but he thought we're not good enough, and I'm going to get better musicians. Which was just me and Chris. <laughs> Chris, I Chris played into a track. I feel those Chris is a better drummer, but excuse me. This is awkward, man. Yeah. I wish I was in the bed with two years now. Well, I mean, it's, I'm not saying it isn't true. <laughs> Swiftly <laughs> moving on. <laughs> uh, it's worst places you could be. It's it's hell when they're in and wind out there. Don't tell me about it, yeah, man. Nicely, cosily tucked up in bed in between Caldo and me with a cup of tea. Yeah. So it's so cool, living the dream, mate. I'm yeah. living the dream. A thousand fans. Yes. Rare trade. Yes. What's, what's, what's going on with them then? So, um, shared a wee article the day about vinyl sales. It's, uh, it's the up, man. Again, aye, aye. Vinyl sales are increasing. It's the, <laughs> it's the, it's the, I don't know why, folk are buying a really impractical way to have music, but. Well, I was having a chat with the boys for Jamie and Shuni about this, and, eh, uh, I think people like to have like a piece of art as well. Like they're, they're coming back to that. Like thing, wanting bro. to have something tangible, physical. Eh? Everybody keeps saying that play, word, play and touch, but it's it's totally true, man. Tangible is a word that everybody says. That's no money. <laughs> but no, I totally I totally agree because like you go to a gig, man, and you're coming back with either a CD or, or a like. Well, it was always CDs. It was never vinyl when we were younger and stuff like that. But now it's. Like a vinyl looks better than a CD. It doesn't like necessarily have to sound because like the record player I've got sounds like like a five pound a dung and a three pound bag, but it's just the actual. If you get that and you get, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I do quite like the fact that you can buy something physical and have it and put. Shut the, shut the f- up, the lot. He's right. Well, record store day is coming up as well. Uh, when's that? Twenty second Saturday, twenty second April. Might be. It might very well be, man. So, uh, long live the record store. Viva la record. Don't know which store is in Spanish. Uh, I know what to say. Toast and banana. E shopper. And Gaelic. Do you? Uh, toast. Do you mind that time they were interviewing <laughs> banana. me? Banana. <laughs> Do you mind that? Do you mind that? Keep it a half hour. She turn him a host. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> That's what we going on BBC Alba as well. Yeah. <laughs> We're appealing to your core audience of uh, five people on the Isle of Lewis. So, so records are back, aye. Aye, they're big. They're going to be huge again, man. Let's, let's, so, let's make records. So let's pretend I'm a guy. <laughs> and, I like where this is going, man. And I'm a guy that plays music. What can a thousand fans do for somebody like me, yeah? What can you do for me? It's a sales pitch. Right, um, essentially, Thousand Fans is there to help, it's to free up your time, Caldo, so that you can make tea for me and Dave. Do you know what I mean? Stay in bed a bit more often. That's it. I'm liking the way it's going. Because you've got, you you yourself, you're a busy man. Yep. Lots lots of Star Wars biscuits. Um, to dish it. There's a yoghurt in the fridge you're going to need to finish. There's loads of things happening. A Worms tournament. There's loads of things. So... What thousand fans is there for is so that it frees up more of your time so you can be creative, so you can spend your time wisely in the way you want to. That's why it's there. Man. So it's cutting down. So what you're saying to me, mm-hmm. it's cutting down the time, like you're doing, like say for instance, like sh- like emailing people that are going, oh Colin, we love you, send us a t-shirt, or oh Colin, we love you, send us an EP or an album. And you just sort that out for me. So what we can do is like so, it's an even keel for everybody. It's an even playing field. So 
you've not got money for a t-shirt run we'll make your t-shirts on demand we'll make them we'll post them out and we'll send you send you the money for them we'll send you the, your cut of the profit for doing that so i don't have to worry about buying the t-shirts you don't need to go and do that you don't you go and make an album you don't need to worry about sourcing how to uh, get it onto cd or onto tape or something like that vinyl will be here eventually it's coming ladies and gentlemen seven inch vinyl is going to be coming is that what yeah, it's going to be coming aye so you can get seven inch vinyl on demand if you get your own t-shirt you can go to bed in your t-shirt instead of staying in your suit all day mm -hmm. well i i like to keep an air of professionalism David, all un, the un, unlike yourself well, uh, well, i mean we all like the mickey names but do you know what i mean there's a shark in the bed Eh gonna come when you're swimming in the water That was good See if I shut my eyes I swore I was at a gig Ants on the guitar refuge there <laughs> So it's essentially it's a good thing for anybody today it, uh, it takes away the strain and efforts uh, having to worry about oh the money and blah, blah, blah. just basically it's, it's based on the thousand fans theory and what is that the thousand fans theory is if you've got a thousand people who like your stuff then it's a full-time job that's it if you can find a thousand people who care enough about you to buy your stuff support you come to your gigs and all that that's what it does. And what a thousand fans is there to do is to build that relationship between you and your true fans so you can reward them the way they should. The same thing you're talking about the DIY scene, man. That, uh, it doesn't apply to bands of 15, I would like to just state for the record. But we use a thousand fans as well and it's been amazing in allowing us to do the other stuff that we used to have to do on, on that side of things. Uh, so much so. I've now got a job with them as well, so there you go, uh, Free me up. I, I didn't get, I didn't get a fucking job. Uh, well, job. It was a tough interview. He gets a, a he gets interview. a job. I don't get a job. All I get is this f***ing glove. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, what do you do? What do you do with the glove in here, Colin? Smell it. <laughs> is that or oh, also for picking up your <laughs> socks? <laughs> I don't have a. I've got a. I've got a nice towel that I use and wash pre like every time. You have a shower. You have a shower. <laughs> it's a Barry man old yeah. towel. I like to have. A, I like to have a, a shower, ideally before and afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Partridge. Aye, <laughs> aye. Got a lot of bit of chocolate mousse in the valance down there. <laughs> Martin, could you get the biscuits for us? <laughs> so I like that. So these are kind of buttery numbers. And they're brown numbers. I like the dark side. I don't know. I'm, I'll have a bot. I'll have a bot. There's a Yoda there. Oh, I'll have Yoda then. <laughs> Illuminate. It's a bucket. I want a bucket. Is that Jabba the Hutt? Jabba the Hutt. Is that it? Have you done? Can you do a Star Wars impression? In a minute. <clears throat> Feisty one you are. That was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> that was better. That was really the bad. Well, um, currently eating our Star Wars biscuits here. Uh, kindly provided by Caldo. About time. My mum. Oh, you should Sat say. them at the beginning, I told you. Uh, Always have the biscuits ready. Uh, what was the last thing I said? <laughs> I don't never listen to anything you say, man. I never listen to it. Um, but Dorian donated them, my mum. I'll, I'll do, I'll do R two D two. That's pretty good. That's pretty bad. All, all about a dart. Cock. Cock. Look, I am your father. Sounded like Steptoe. <laughs> 
Aye. Uh, no, my R2D2 was probably better. Was Let's see your uh, Jabba. I can't do it. No, no, Jabba. Uh, Chewie. Chewie. Good. Let's see your Chewie. Oh, the mine is. Oh, no, don't. No, it's not, it's not it, it's not it, it's not it. Sounds like something. That's that's it. I can do an impression of it, Chris will walk into the impression I, of it. I can't drill Mars, so I can't do that. Good luck condensing this down to 15 minutes. I can do an impression of Chris will walk into a bad impression of Alice Schwarzenegger. Right here, it? Obviously. <laughs> Ow, you gotta get to ow, the chopper, come on, right now, you gotta do it, come on, Billy, I'm right here, you are an ugly motherfucker, come on, you get it now, get down to the chopper, come on. You wanna go back to sleep, Tosh? Uh, I would love to, aye. Yeah. <laughs> right, um, quick fire round, let's do it. <clears throat> five questions. Five questions. Power of the five. <laughs> the law of fives. Do, do we, hold on. Can you, which is convenient because it's Robert Anton Wilson's anniversary. Great man passed away ten years ago. Right. On the bob. Does he know, does I know the questions? I know some of the questions. Uh, well done. I, should, should I put my fingers I'll, in my ears? Or like, why does your hand smell like that? <laughs> the glove. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I like the glove. Right, um, right, we'll do it. Who's your favourite band? Nirvana. Best gig you've been to? Christ in a bike. Tom Waits. Where? Edinburgh Playhouse. Cool. Uh, favourite artist? Solo artist? Solo artist? Tom Waits. F- f- favourite uh, band uh, or artist from Scotland? Oh, you put me in a thingy now, now. Now I need to... Now, now. <laughs> now, now. Oh, Mr. Bose. Mr. <laughs> Two years. Mr. Bose. <laughs> right, and who's your... Uh, Who's your hot tip in the underground scene in Scotland for who's going who's going to be worth watching this year? Oh man. <laughs> How about a sweaty t shirt? <laughs> Jack and Trades. There you go, man. Jack, Jack and Trades. Trades. Definitely. Yeah. One of my top albums of last year. That was brilliant. Get it checked out. So Need the characters. Check it out. Delegates celebrate. Narrow debate. Death of conversation is a place where we're awake Fuck you have a t-shirt back. That was incredible how a t-shirt just came out of nowhere Oh, well, I've got some questions as well Gosh. I've got some questions before we, before we wrap up Thanks man Yep, yep, yep Since you're a football fan I'm not what? a football fan Where do, where do, who done your Shh. research man? Since you're a football fan, what team are you? Edward or the other guy from Twilight? The other guy Nipsters do you know what they are and what are your thoughts? They're uh, jeans that start there. Alan's big questions. This is what that's like. <laughs> Alan's. But, but worse. <laughs> Email of the evening. <laughs> so uh, we'll just we'll, we'll we'll close on an Alan's big question. Um, uh, what happens after death? <laughs> there is nothing. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's good. Well, thank you very okay. much for coming to the show, Aye, Tragic. Thank you, man. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tragic O'Hara uh, of Tragic O'Hara and a thousand fans, we'd like to offer you a Baron St. Jean white wine, a crisp and refreshing white wine with underlying tropical fruit flavours for you. Fantastic, and man. That's great. So you t- and, uh, we'd so also like to offer up our sincerest apologies for you sticking through until the end, but thank you. <laughs> we do so love you. You don't keep that. Uh, right, okay. So I'll get to you. I'll get to you later. So uh, this is Pillow Talk with Caldo. And Disco Dave signing off. Have a nice day. See you later. Ah, the sun is out and it's bright. Yeah. Oh, everything is all right. All right. Ah, and it's a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. Everything's gonna be okay. Ah. Fluffy puppy, puppy, rainbow flower. Fluffy puppy, puppy, rainbow flower. Fluffy puppy, puppy, rainbow flower. Fluffy puppy, rainbow flower.